A senior U.S. economy official is in Seoul for talks on bilateral cooperation. Jose Fernandez emphasized Washington's desire to build a reliable network apparently against China's dominance. Yoon Jung-min tells us more. Visiting Seoul for a series of talks on economic cooperation, U.S. Undersecretary for Economic Growth, Energy and the Environment, Jose Fernandez, emphasized the need to build a reliable network, adding that the U.S. is working with South Korea on 5G network cooperation. After a joint public-private economic forum on Thursday, the American officials said the South Korean companies will be given more opportunities to work with the U.S. regarding 5G technology. It's widely seen as the U.S. expanding network cooperation with its allies against China. In 2019, the U.S. put Chinese tech giant Huawei on its blacklist, citing security problems. At the forum, also discussed were bolstering bilateral cooperation on gender equality and the so-called STEM, meaning science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. While in Seoul, Fernandez on Thursday met with officials from the finance and trade ministries for talks on infrastructure and supply chain cooperation. Supply chain resilience, carbon neutrality, as well as the U.S. Indo-Pacific economic framework were discussed with Vice Trade Minister Park Jin-gyu. Park urged a renegotiation of the U.S. Section 232 tariff rules on steel. Fernandez will hold senior economic dialogue with Seoul's second vice foreign minister Choi Jong Moon on Friday. As a follow up to the Moon Biden summit in May, they will discuss cooperation on building supply chain resilience, science and technology, combating COVID 19, and the climate crisis. Yoon Jong Min, Arirang News.